looks the same in all directions. Isotropy. Um, and it creates seeds for structure formation. Meaning the formation of galaxies and actually what forms first are dark matter halos into which uh, particles fall and then form galaxies. Uh, structure, so in cosmology speak, structure means basically galaxies and dark matter clumps. again what inflation is? Yes, I will in just a moment. Let me just finish with my last bullet point then. Um, so these seeds are still visible. In the CMB, in the cosmic light bridge background. Yes, so let me um, tell you uh, again what inflation is. So. I told you that we are just entering right now, or maybe a little while ago, we entered an era of accelerated expansion. And as all the other annoying things in the universe get diluted away, like dust and radiation, and only vacuum energy is left over, the uh, precise form of this accelerated expansion will be an exponential expansion, as I wrote right here. Okay. Um, well, what sets the time scale, sort of the doubling time of the size of the universe in this exponential expansion, is the size of the cosmological constant or the positive vacuum energy um, that we have currently in our universe. If the magnitude of that was much greater, then the universe would be inflating much faster. By inflating, I mean growing exponentially. Okay. Um, and so currently we have really tiny vacuum energy, and so the universe is inflating at a rate of you know, a doubling time of billions of years. Um, the theory of inflation posits that there was a time in the very early universe when there was an absolutely enormous amount of vacuum energy around. And for a number of reasons, that's not at all implausible. Um, it's in fact much easier to explain why there's a lot of vacuum energy around than why there's very little. Um, now this, does, this should not, for this to work, this amount of vacuum energy has to actually be very slowly changing. That's kind of the only um, feature of inflation that is maybe a little bit inelegant, if you will. Uh, but the kind of small numbers that have to appear there are not very small. They're maybe percent or something like that. And what happens then is that the universe undergoes, um, again, accelerated expansion. It, it undergoes exponential growth. But uh, in the early universe, this would have happened with a doubling time that's tiny, tiny, tiny fractions of a second. Depending on which version of the theory, it might be something like 10 to minus 35 seconds. Um, and so, you know, in a flash, this is over. Um, and and, and uh, you can, well, you then have to somehow produce the radiation and the matter that becomes part of the initial conditions of the standard picture of cosmology. And there are, there's a fairly good understanding of how that would work. Uh, but uh, does that answer your question? Yeah, I mean, like, I got confused that the uh, you're saying